Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Aim game. Today's No Name Aim game is, of course, SWAT. That's right, you have to put extra emphasis on it because it's in all caps. So let's jump right in. We are playing as the Sofa Surfer and four way directions, shooting, and if you're close to things, you can fling things a la Pengo or Penguin. And uh, watch out for the Metroids, otherwise. Ooh. There is a bomb. That's kind of the most disappointing bomb. It, it should at least destroy those blocks. No, no, it just kind of hangs around. And uh, I bet you thought enemies that only moved up, down, left, right, and very slowly at that, wouldn't be um, and too ferocious. But if you just stand around and let them surround you, they can really get you. And uh, don't mistake the Metroids for the Robbie Robot. The Robbie Robot is actually pretty good. So let's see if we can use some extra ordnance. Oh. So that silly robot's gonna... Well, he's too smart for that. Alright, so I'm guessing the object of the game is to protect the stuff at the top. And a la Space Invaders, you can use your barriers to sort of fight back. And, um... Well, the robot seems to only be able to go one direction. And, let's see, well, I mean, the game would be too hard if they just reached the top. I missed, okay. So we've got the giant creeping up, um, little boxes on the bottom, so I'm assuming they'll fill up the screen, and then that's when you inevitably die. Of course, if you're crazy enough, you can actually run down and start throwing their blocks everywhere. Not recommended, of course, because sometimes those blocks have little guys in them. But an interesting strategy. <laughs> It's a little dancer? What does this game think it is? Dangun Fever on? And so we can just kind of plant little bombs in there. It's, it's sort of like if you're playing Super Puzz... Well, that just got interesting. I mean, it's sort of like a Super Puzzle Fighter where you can, like, plant little, um, crushers in the giant hordes of garbage your opponent sends, and then a couple turns in, you send a nice, hearty counterattack that you totally planned ahead of time. Anyway, the point is you can save stuff for later. Save giant explosions for later. Interesting. It doesn't seem to like you, uh, shooting bombs at them. Not that I'm all that surprised. Well, things are starting to finally get a little bit interesting. Although... Did I, did I just die just because I was close enough to that? Well, that seems a little off. But otherwise... Huh. Let's see, there doesn't seem to be any sort of, like, level or anything telling me that, hey, it's totally okay to just randomly bomb their stuff. I'm assuming it has to be. Yeah, okay, so that didn't trigger just because I blew up a bomb. But, uh, <laughs> is he really doing his own little victory dance? Uh, I'm just kind of imagining things, but... Because <laughs> it's like, come on, man, you're not out of the woods yet. Oh, danger mode activates when the enemies make it all the way to the top. I see, and then you can stay out of danger mode so long as you um do that. It's not too often that I uh, get help and advice from the intros, but sometimes, just with a crazy game like this where you can't quite figure out what's going on, it helps. Sadly, the bomb doesn't seem to uh, destroy cartons or whatever. Huh. And then, so the robot is best left unattacked. Ooh. I bet you can get hit by your own bomb. It seems like that kind of game. So I'm assuming you just have to, like, be careful and fight back when there aren't guys in there? Wow. I mean, when you think about it, there really aren't, like, any games like this. I mean, yeah, you've got the block throwing mechanic, you've got the moving around and shooting mechanic, but this is 84 by Sega, and they came up with, like, a game this crazy back in 84. Well, I'd like to say, gee, I wonder what they'd be up to now, but, uh, seems to be just Sonic and whatnot, which is kind of a little sad. I mean, 
Sega may not have done a lot of things, may not have done everything right, and they may not have done everything wrong, but one thing they really got right was having crazy new franchises that just have no bearing on any past franchises, completely unrelated, and you kind of ask, why are they there? Okay, so we can shoot these. Interesting. So it's kind of unlike Space Invaders because their little barrier things, or so seeming barrier things, are actually kind of liabilities. That'll ultimately betray you. So I'm still not entirely sure, like, the best strategy for playing this game, because you can't just kind of, like, go out all attack the pipes, because then enemies are flying inside, they're gonna get you. But at the same time, you can't ignore the pipes, or else you start, um, getting pretty good at dodging fireballs. I really don't think there is necessarily a strategy, it's just, like, pure reflexes and, um being able to do stuff. Well, I guess... Because it does seem like guys come out of the pipes and then leave them pretty undefended, so... I guess if you're persistent enough, you can kind of, like, sit around and, like, kill all the enemies that come out of the pipes and then beat the pipes back. But... Again, you're gonna get pretty good at dodging fireballs pretty soon if you're not quick about it. Ooh. This is one of those times where I'm really glad that I've got a uh, arcade stick that's only got like four directions in. That's good, right? Please let that be good. <laughs> there are levels in this game? Oh, is there a timer or something that I should be paying attention to? Oh, this is crazy. Alright, so you can... Wow. Oh, I wonder if it's something where, um, you just have to, uh... <sighs> Interesting. You press up, you go right. You press down, you go right. You press left, you go left. You press right, you go right. And, well, I would normally fault it for only having the left, right, not up and down, going up and down on that name entry screen. At the same time, it does move pretty quickly, but it doesn't move so quickly that you can't, uh, handle it at all. So... I'm willing to cut it some slack there. And alright, now let's figure out the mystery of the bar at the top. Now I'm assuming it's going to be like Time Pilot, where you've got a sort of quota of enemies to kill. And that's basically what you got to do. Uh huh. Maybe it's number of red blocks you have to destroy? Maybe it's number of the circle guys you have to destroy. Maybe it's a, actually a timer still? Okay, so it does seem to actually be going down as I flip them away. Okay, so you can kind of try and go for a kamikaze attack. Ooh, interesting. Then they start uh, getting a little bit confused like the Galaga aliens when you, um... Or actually you, when Galaga aliens steal your ship. So, okay, that's, that's interesting. You ha do have to actually fight back. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, this is kind of an arcade game, and it's like most purest state. I mean, on one hand, you've got these crazy sprites that are going on that have no real basis in real life. Two, you've got a relatively simple mechanic, run around, shoot stuff, knock barrels over. And then three, you've got to survive using basically just your reflexes and maybe a little bit of intuition. And that's just how you get through it. And then the stages become progressively harder and harder. Hmm. Well, that's that's actually pretty cool. And I mean, the cool thing, the really cool thing about this game is that I had like no idea this existed. And I mean, that's kind of really the whole point to um of this show, really, to just kind of like look into the deep, vast expanses of Mame and see if we can find any sort of hidden little gems that, like, you may not have heard of, but you probably should have, because it's pretty fun. So, on that note, this cat's got a scat. Although, first, I have to say I'm a little bit ashamed of how good the CPU has is at this game versus me. Dang. And it doesn't even seem like the CPU is, like, legitimately playing the game, not just, like, some sort of re-recording, so... Kudos to you, Sega. You really were a class act, even back in the day. Even back in the beginning of the day. Alright, well, on that note, this cat's got a scat.